Hello! <laughs> Alright, this one is going to be a short tutorial on timeline animation. So we've talked about animations before by bringing in sprite sheets. Um, this one is going to be about how to build uh, a motion animation inside of inside of Unity, Unity using this animation window. So um, I just created this thing called Timeline Animations. It's a 2D project and I'm going to go ahead and create it. And there's some stuff left over from the last one we did, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are. We have our 2D um, uh, window here for environment. Um, I am going to, let's see, on my main camera, I hate this blue color. I'm going to change it to white. Just get out of there. And I'm going to bring in an object. All we're going to do is just sort of animate it moving around the screen, maybe just going left and right or up and down or something. Um, I'm going to use some glitch the game assets. Uh, any PNG is going to work. Here's a star. This works. I'll just drag it in. So I'll drag it in here. Um, and, you know, like I said, we're not going to be using sprite sheets. We're just going to move this thing around the screen. So if I put it in um, into our scene like this, um, now we've got our star in there. And if I hit play, we'll be able to, to see it there. And it looks amazing. Very good game. Um, I'm going to change the name of this thing real quick. It's too long. I'll just call it star. Um, and we're going to use this animation window down here. And if you don't have one, let's just, let me see if I can get this out of here. So if you don't have an animation window anywhere, um, go to window animation. And that's going to give you this animation window. And I dock it down here at the bottom. I just grab the tab and dock it down there. And that makes it a little bit easier for um, to see what we're going to do. Uh, all right, so it's going to walk us through creating an animation of this thing. We're just going to, like I said, have the star going back and forth and back and forth. Um, so to begin animating a star, create, uh, click the Create button. So we will do that. And we can call it Star Animation. There we go. Um, and we've got a few things happening here. So um, and we have these add property things, but what, what's going to happen is uh, I'm just going to move this around just a little bit and, um, and we'll get it started. So here's where we're going to start. This red thing here, this is our timeline. And um, it's, it's interesting to pay attention to what these numbers mean. So this one colon zero zero, that's one second. So if you start doing stuff over here, it's going to animate, uh, you know, very, very quickly. I'll, let me drag this over here to the left. And so what's going to happen is it's going to interpolate the position we had over here at zero and the position we had over here at second and at one second and make it smoothly transition between the two. So if I drag this, um, this, this timeline bar, you see it moving across. And then let's move it all the way back at two seconds. And I'm going to copy these points over here. So these are these are the properties. And I'll bring my red line over to two minutes and I'll paste it. And then now if we play, should loop. There it goes. And so it's looping back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And by default, that's what these animations do. Um, they'll just loop back and forth. And so there we have it. We've got a, an animation that looks really cool and it goes back and forth. Um, and this is the dope sheet. We can look at curves. And if you notice, it had a sort of an acceleration, deceleration associated with it. And that's where all this comes from. If you click on this curves down, I'm clicking down here in the bottom. Um, and you can mess around with this to get it the look that you want, but I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, but I wanted you to know that that sort of stuff was there. Uh, if we go back to our dope sheet, we can do more than just slide it back and forth. Let's go back here. And let's just make it bigger. So we can scale it. Two, two, um, and let's see what happens. So now it should get bigger. So it's doing something kind of weird. It's growing on the way out, but it's not shrinking. So it looks odd. And the reason is, if you look at um, our dope sheet here, where we have two properties, position and scale. And at time zero, we have both of them. At time one, we have both. But at time two seconds, we only have position because that scale didn't get updated. So I'm just going to grab this position. Um, copy it and then paste it. So I'm by copy and paste, I'm doing uh, Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V, depending on where you're at. Um, and now this thing should go fine. There it is. All right. And then another thing we could do is we could rotate this thing around. Why not? 
over here. So we're at our rotation, and we're in 2D. We're gonna looking at our Z rotation. So let's just rotate it by 90. And then again, we need to copy our rotation point. There we go, back to two. And now it should do a little bit of a spin. And there you go. Um, and the cool thing about this is anything that's associated with that, like any colliders or um, any children game objects that are associated with this thing are going to follow uh, the same path as well. So um, yeah, this was just a quick intro to using uh, this animation feature built into Unity. And um, you can use this all over the place. So that's all this one was, just another short video.